Okay, so I took the bolts out. This one, focus. This one came out like this. Um, so this part where it's all silver down here got stripped. And when he threaded it down, this material here is not part of the bolt. That is material from inside that hole. So that hole is completely screwed now. This one up here is crooked. I think you can see how the hole is not circular. It's kind of egg shaped. And that is a significantly bigger bolt. Here's what, here's the size of the bolts that are supposed to go into that, thread into that. It's this size right here. I gotta do this with my other hand, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna push this through and you can see that. And let me hold it. Caitlin, can you come hold this? Please? Just hold your finger right there and hold it forward. There we go. Okay, oops. So that's the size that's supposed to go down in there. This is the bolt that he put down in there. Hope you can see if I line it up side by side so that it's straight. That's a lot bigger bolt. So now that I'm trying to put this small bolt into a hole that's drilled this big, not only that, but when he put the bolt down in there, it went that way a little bit. So that's why it looks, that hole looks like an egg shape. So I can't get these. This is too small. It just flops around in the big ass hole that's in there. So normally what I would do is I'd run a drill down in there straight and then put this little insert in there that takes up the space so I can thread them down tight. But being that that hole is crooked and egg shaped, it's not going to take an insert there. The good part is if it had been any of these holes, uh, this is the cylinder head. You would have had to replace all of this. There happens to be a seam right under here. There's a seam right there. This part separates and comes off. That's the timing cover. So both of the holes that got messed up are in the timing cover and not the head. That's good. But this does have to come off. And all of this stuff down in here. The water pump has to come out. The motor mount has to come out. The crank pulley has to come out. It's a lot. So I'm going to look it up and see what the labor calls for. But really, that's the only solution. If I put that cover back on, it's going to continue to do this because of these holes. And... This right here is the bottom side of this. When this is on the engine, air sucks up in here and it has to hold a certain amount of pressure to make this function right. If this doesn't function right, you get all those codes that I pulled out of his car. So it tells me that it's not building up the vacuum. That's why I got this, to replace this. With those bolts down there being stripped on the old one, you can't get this thing tightened down. It won't allow the air to build up in suction and vacuum inside there. Air is escaping out of there and you're just gonna keep getting that problem. Those codes aren't gonna go away until you're at least able to seal this thing up um, completely in 100%. So I hope that makes sense.